Hey guys, I'm Anand from Tech Store, your tech guide, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest HP DY and GY series of laptops. Both the laptops look absolutely same. There's no difference whatsoever. The only difference is in the processor that uh, these models have chosen. Now, the DY series will have a Intel processor, a Intel Core i3 11 generation or a Core i5 11 generation. This is an entry level value series of HP laptops starting from around 25,000 rupees up to 45 to 50,000 rupees. And the GY series laptop is with AMD Athlon starting from 26,000 rupees here in India up to AMD Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5 up to 45 to 50,000 rupees. Then an entry level HP laptop with a lot of improvement HP has come out with. So let's have a look. So we are uh, reviewing the black edition, uh, it generally comes in the black. The top here is having a texture uh, as usual with the earlier series also. And uh, once you open the screen, uh, you have a two side nano bezel for an entry level 26,000 rupees laptop. It's a very good thing to have in HP, although they have been a little late on this. Asus and Acer have already come out with uh, nano bezel screens. So here we have the speaker grill is over here on the top. Uh, just. Uh, above the power button the keyboard is a standard keyboard real nice key size and good uh, travel on the key we could experience very impressed with the keyboard that they have integrated and the body to screen ratio is very less and uh, looks very very slim and uh, decent for this price point it has got a touchpad with the right click and left click uh, separated it does not have a unipad per se it has got a rectangular uh, touchpad and uh, the touchpad also has, the entire touchpad has this textury feeling all through. The fan again uh, is just below the display area, which will be blocking the heat vent. On the left side, we have a Ethernet port, uh, you have HDMI, you have a C-type port, you have hard drive indicator and power indicator and headphone and mic combi. Very slim on the outlook. On the front, there are no IOs whatsoever. On the right, uh, you have a charging pin connector, two USB 3.0 ports and a memory card reader. Once you flip the laptop, the base is absolutely clutter free. You have uh, some amount of vent space given for uh, dissipation of heat. And uh, we will dig deep into this particular thing in the video ahead. The only consideration here, uh, which HP would have done is uh, looked at the vent area here, but that's the way most of these laptops are nowadays. So let's open this thing up. This is a webcam shot taken from the HP 15 DY series of laptops and is the same for the GY series of laptops also. Both the webcam is absolutely the same. The quality is pretty good. Uh, they allow you to capture up to 720p uh, video and the audio quality is very good because of the dual array microphone that is there front facing. So all in all a very good webcam uh, for this particular series. Very, very crisp uh, audio quality on this particular, even the entry level in the Athlon Silver, uh, which is under 26,000 rupees here in India, has beautiful audio quality, crispness, and good base for this particular laptop. So, a thumbs up for uh, speaker quality on this particular laptop. So the first thing first, uh, we need to flip the laptop 
and you will see these two rudders holding onto the screws here just need to take this kind of a cruiser be very careful in removing it because it's a self adhesive tape that is there on the sides and uh, you need to remove it along with the self adhesive tape right so you need to remove the screws and then there are these two screws one and two Once all the screws have been removed, uh, you need to just flip it back, open it and uh, take a triangle of prior like this and start protruding the sides. Once you have done this, just again put it back and remove the base. So this is the way the inners of the HP DY and uh, GY series of laptops look like. A very standard HT03XL battery which is there in the most laptops in the past three years. Hard drive is here, M.2 SSD connector slot here, two RAM bays, good size fan here, the speaker is over here and here, stereo speakers, Wi-Fi chip. So let's start by removing the battery first. So if you're watching this uh, video after say two years from buying your laptop, you might need to replace the battery and uh, this is what you need to do. So this is the HT03XL, the power rating is 11.4 volts and 41 watt hours. It will give you a very comfortable battery backup for around 4 to 5 hours on a normal usage. So if you want to replace the battery, just take this battery and you can replace it. So coming to the hard drive area, if you want to replace the hard drive with the SSD or it's a faulty hard drive that you want to change, remove these screws over here that I am showing you. There is a strip connector over here, just remove the strip connector. It's a 2.5 SATA hard drive, uh, you can just take a SSD, 2.5 form factor and upgrade up to 2TB hard drive and 1TB SSD. Just need to remove this connector here before you do it. Just use your two thumb fingers, remove this connector, take another hard drive and just replace it. You need to remove this small holder also. Just remove this one screw and the holder will come off. Coming to the RAM bay area, it has got two RAM bays, so you can upgrade up to 32 GB, 16 GB plus 16 GB, DDR4, just need to use your two thumb fingers. You need to put a 3200 uh, AA memory, it's a 4 GB, 8 GB or a 16 GB DDR4, low voltage, 3200 MHz memory. Below that, 3000 MHz is also okay, you can also put a 2666, but don't go below that. So 3200 MHz RAM, just take another RAM like this and uh, just need to fit in like this, just press and you're good to go. Wi-Fi chip is over here, the keyboard connector in a scenario your keyboard is uh, not functioning well and it is pressing all the time. Many people have this issue 2, 3, 4 years down the lane, just need to remove this uh, keyboard connector, just need to remove it here like this so that you can start working on an external keyboard. In another video, we will show you how to completely disassemble this uh, laptop and uh, remove the motherboard as well as the keyboard and everything. This is the Wi-Fi chip. If you have a faulty Wi-Fi chip, just need to remove this one screw and you're good to go. Now coming to the M.2 SSD, you just need to buy a M.2 NVMe SSD. Up to 1TB is what this particular motherboard supports and uh, you can buy a Western Digital Blue, Black or a Corsair, Crucial, Kingston. Any brand M.2 NVMe Gen 3 PCI Express SSD will work fine on this. Just take it like this and uh, very gently push it here. Now the thing here is it does not come with a screw so just remove a screw from the hard drive area and just fit it in like this and you're good to go. If you don't have a screw handy that's the right way to do it. So let's just put everything back. So in this video we showed you the HP DY and the GY series of laptops. Uh, the DY have the Core i3 11th generation and uh, 11th generation uh, Core i5 also. And uh, the GY have the AMD Athlon, Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5. So any extension beyond this, uh, you can apply this particular method to upgrade the RAM, SSD, put a new hard drive, replace the battery, do anything that you want to do with this particular laptop. 
This is a must watch if you plan to buy this particular laptop in this particular series. The latest laptop in the value series, entry level variant by HP. The entry level AMD F1 and Pentium Dual Core will not have a full HD screen. Although we were expecting an IPS panel, which is not there unfortunately, but uh, normal HD screen on the entry level AMD F1, sub 30 laptops, and Neon 30, the Core i3 and Core i5 variants will have full HD screens. The viewing angles is better than the earlier series, but we were expecting an IPS panel. The keyboard the quality is pretty nice, the speakers are uh, crisp. The webcam quality is very good as usual with all the HD laptops and they have given an Ethernet port, HDMI and a C-Type port and made it very very slim. So all in all a good packaged laptop by HP and we hope uh, to save through in the next 3 to 4 months on this particular HP laptop. Hope you like our video guys, do this in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much for watching.